how am I going to work out which of those ten does what? I'm looking at the pattern. I think those two little ones there are the knees, which is to make the the feet leap sideways from here. That's a separate action to the thigh. The thigh does that, and then this one can twiddle. Well, there's a bit there where they do like that, where he's twiddling his feet, as far as I can see. All the strings are missing, so I haven't got any clues at all. I mean, they weren't just rotted, they were missing. So what are you writing down? I'm writing down what I consider to be the most likely use of each of these moving parts. So far I've got two thighs, two arms, two knees, up and down, and I'm one, two, three, three more to guess at, but I've got no more strings. So you're watching <laughs> those levers move up and down? I'm watching these levers move up and down right. uh, in relation to each other to see which ones move slowly. Because, for example, his arms only carry a balancing stick. Right. So he's not going to be doing that with it. Well, he might be. So, well, he'll fall if he does. He'll fall <laughs> off. So he's got to be doing this sort of thing with it. Right. And when this one goes up, this one's got to go down. So I've worked out that three and four are probably the arms. But I'm having second thoughts on it. Uh, that's one, two, three, and four, those two. That one and that one. So why are you having second thoughts? Well, there they go. Uh, one went up and the other one went down. So what he's doing there is doing this, trying to find to get his balance. That's what I think. But I don't know whether two and three are paired on some other movement, which I haven't yet worked out. Very difficult. How many levers are there? Uh, Eleven. Oh, I, so know, are... I know for sure what two of them are. So that leaves me nine to find. Is it possible that some of the levers are controlling like the same limbs, but to do different things? I can't see why, but it's, it's possible. Well, it just seems like he doesn't have enough limbs to, <laughs> to, well, he hasn't. to have 11 levers. No, he hasn't. Uh... I've just altered his hand to make that work correctly. So you've had to string all of those oh, yeah. and pull them all through? Yeah. I, that's, that's, that's his hand, one of them. I've just altered that to get that right. And his other hand's going the wrong way. So I've now got to alter that by reversing that. So that now when I pull that one, if I can find it again, that's that one. Yeah, both hands got the same right. way. Right. That's now correct. I've now got to find, that, that, that's his limb, his thigh going up. Right. Is his knee a separate string? Yeah. So it's possible some of those levers work together. Yeah. So he could lift up his thigh and then kick out his knee. That's right. This is his, this is bottom. That's his leg. Look. That's his knee there. That's amazing, that movement. Yeah. What's this one then? Nothing. Oops, yes it is. <laughs> yeah. But, and these allow him to go up and down parallel, because there's no point in him going up and doing that. Right. So these are, are 
cut make it possible for it to move parallel when it jumps. unbelievable that that was made when? 1840. Wow. This guy's got two loops to his head. Is that the same person? Yeah, that's, okay. that's his head. And I've got one string tied on. So it's either one string and a spring to make him nod his head. That's the only movement because it pivot goes through there. Right. Uh, or it could have two strings and be controlled back and forwards, which seems a bit superfluous. But if it's got two strings on it, that accounts for another one. Well, considering how delicate a lot of the other movements are, I wouldn't be surprised if it had two strings. No, but it equally could have had that. Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>